Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Portia Williams, who is now a fiance. And the updates on her is she is fixing her bed of course her mattress you know Portia has her whole like bed line with Amazon that she's doing and of course she's practicing to be a wife as well right so part of being a wife is also fixing the bed in the morning this is part of like you know those wife duties I mean ladies that are single I know you guys do that too but you know you got to do it a little extra too right how you are as a woman when you're single and how you are when you're married is two different things so I noticed that Portia is practicing for the role. Um, she's planning her wedding, it appears right now. She's also doing Pop of Portia on her Instagram, where she's talking about self-love and how she used to think self-love was selfish. She also said something very interesting. She said that she's always been a people pleaser as well. And I thought, that makes sense. Because I do notice that Portia doesn't have a sense of self. Right? By the way, if you're a Portia Williams fan, you might get triggered in this video. Please don't watch any further. But I noticed that she doesn't have a sense of self. She doesn't really appear very grounded and balanced as well. And it appears to me that she pretty much just kind of steals different identities of women or people that she kind of likes and tries to imitate them. I don't know, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. That's just my perception of Portia. But also, there was an outfit that she was wearing that was very stretchy and made me feel like this could be Fallon's outfit. It's a very stretchy um, bodycon jumper that she's wearing. And it's like a cat suit. And it just made me feel think of Fallon for some reason that this could have been one of the outfits that Portia took out of her closet. Remember when she went and scouted, you know, the area, the mansion before she decided to also take her husband? She was twerking, going inside Fallon's closet, taking her clothes, wearing it outside of the house. Okay, so she left with like a whole bag of stretchy clothes and she was twerking, she was drinking her alcohol, she was eating in her fridge you know she swam in her pool you guys know swam in her pool smoked her shisha stole her lifestyle took her husband and just the trauma that Portia has created with dirty simon who is simon gobadia now fallon penis ex-husband so this outfit that Portia is wearing i don't know what you guys think but go take a look at this outfit closely this looks like an outfit that Fallon may have owned and it's that stretchy material would Portia do something like this though I wouldn't be surprised because she wants people to talk about her and I did a video yesterday where I told you guys that Portia wrote under Fallon penis assistance Instagram post where he was confirming his relationship with Fallon she wrote, aww, and I told you guys that I felt that that was shade. I didn't think that that was Portia being supportive. She's not even friends with Fallon and Jalen. She does not know these people like that, right? And then all of a sudden she's writing this, like, sis, move on with your life. You've already taken her husband. What else do you want from her? And I wouldn't be surprised if she's wearing Fallon's outfit right now. I don't know, there was something about this outfit, guys, that screams to me, possession of Fallon Pina for some reason. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Portia's wedding planning. Do you think that she's rushing her wedding? Or do you think that she's actually taking her time? I think that she's rushing it just so then that way she has something to talk about in her spinoff. And at the same time, she wants to prove to everyone that she is, you know, obviously wife material and that she's going to get the ring and that Simon really loves her. This is really sad. Anyway, on this channel, I've mentioned this various, like many times I've said this. We are going to watch this unfortunate situation end badly 
because Simon is usually married for a year and a half to two years. His longest marriage was 20 years. This is a man that's marrying for the fourth time. Ladies, be careful dealing with men who are confused, who are emotionally unavailable, and who just hop from one woman to another. One thing we know for certain about Simon is he's very protective about his money. So Portia will have to sign a prenuptial agreement. This woman thinks that she is getting the bag, but she's not. And when she leaves, he's just going to leave her with 50 grand and that's it. And give her like 15 days notice to get out of his mansion. That's what he did to his ex-wife, Fallon Pina. So things are not going to end well. And I know that some of you guys are so sensitive when I say that. But it's true. Do the math. Look at this man's history. This is not the tribe. We're not wishing Portia bad luck. But if a man's been married three times, ladies, this is a red flag. And this is what I keep telling you guys. Don't get involved with people who are just hopping from one woman to another. When Simon gets bored of Portia, he's going to find a younger woman because let's just be honest, Portia is 40 years old. Simon usually likes to go for women in their 20s, okay? Anywhere from 21 years old to about 20, 20, 25 usually is what his preferred, you know, woman is, okay? So as Portia continues to age, he's not going to want it anymore. I'm sorry. It is what it is, all right? Anyway, I will keep you guys posted in our next conversation, all right? Take care of yourselves and have a fantastic day. Be sure to check out the video description as well and uh, get a copy of my ebook. It's called More Than Good Enough. You guys, I don't usually do sponsorships on my channel and I don't usually talk about my products, but if you can support the channel by getting a copy of my ebook, that will be greatly appreciated. And I look forward to talking to you guys on Instagram as well at Sunday Omni. And you can also find me on Facebook at Sunday Omni TV. Until our next conversation, cheers.